YouTube, I'm in White Chicken, and I am here with another Call of Duty Black Ops 3 Zombies video. And recently, I actually acquired the last Zombies map that I need. So, for the longest time, I didn't have Grod Krovi or Setsubo Noshima. And, um, a couple months ago, maybe a month or two, I don't know, I got Grod Krovi. So, I've had that one for a while. Um, as you can see, I've gotten to around 35 on it. I've had it for a little while. Um, but I just recently got Zetsubu Nishima. I haven't even played it at all. So, I now finally have all of the maps. And what I'm going to do today is I'm actually going to, it's, it's going to be a long video. But zombie videos are always long, so it's fine. And all my videos are always long. But I'm going to do the first room challenge on every map and kind of... I'm gonna see what, like, how f far, like, what round I can get to with each map. So, I guess I'll just kind of write them down and see, like, who wins and, uh, like, what I can get to. Um, so this is pretty cool. Uh, I'm excited. Since it's gonna, be, there's, like, a lot of maps. There's 14 maps. So, since there's a lot, I'm only gonna use classic gobble gums. Um, because I could use, like, Perkaholic and get all the perks. Like, for one, I don't want to use that many Perkaholics. Because, I mean, I have quite a few, but I don't know. I don't want to use those. I could also use other ones, but, um, if I get really good Gobble Gums, that could make, allow me to last a lot longer. And it's already going to be a long video, so I'm just going to go Classic Gobble Gums. Uh, that's usually what I like to do. And, I only really use Mega if I'm, like, trying to actually do something tough, like an Easter egg or something. Um, but, yeah, I usually use Classics just because, I don't know, just do. But, yeah, we're going to get started on Shadows of Evil, just using Classic Gobble Gums, just so it, it doesn't get ridiculously long. But, um, we're going to try to skip through these cutscenes. But, yeah, I'm going to be playing Sepsible Noshima for the first time, but I'm not actually playing, like, the actual map. Because, I mean, I'm only doing first room, but it's fine. We'll see. See how it goes. Come on. Shadows, this is going to be a tough one. This is going to be a tough one. Because it is tight. This is not a big first room at all. It is like a starting hallway. Like, really. It's crazy. Can you imagine, like, if there was, like, a um, broken down, like, school map, like, it's a school, and, um, you got to, like, um, start in, like, a hallway, and that was the first room, it was just a school hallway, that'd be crazy, but, like, I mean, this is it. This is gonna be tough. Um, uh, quick revives, there's that. I mean, might as well get the summoning key, why not? But, I mean, I can't do anything else, so. Alright. Sick. Oh, I just thought, there's that, there's actually a glitch you can do. Um, I actually forgot about this. There is a glitch, um, that I think, I think it's still a thing that you can do. I don't know, I've never done it. But you, like, shoot the shadow man, shadow man right here. And you like shoot him with this pistol this as much as you can, then you grab this pistol, keep shooting him, and you can get to like round 15, like instantly. So I guess I, I could have done that technically, and got um got um, to round 15 super quickly, but I don't really want to do that because that's not really the first room challenge. I mean, it's kind of it's silly, but um, it's fine. Also, just realized this one actually doesn't have a gobble gum machine, so that's fun. Because in plain sight would really, really help. Oh, I should probably go ahead and buy a quick revive. Um. But, yeah. First room challenges are fun. I like them because it's pretty easy. You know, you just kind of come in. Nothing, there's no like complexity to it. It's just, it's fun. I like it. I like it, dude. Pick up the fumigator because we're totally gonna use that. 
Um, oh, there is a pod in here, though. Oh. I mean, I don't think I'm gonna survive that long, but hypothetically, if you did survive long enough for this pod to grow, you could get a freaking crazy gun. Although, I don't know, there might be a thing where Sex you, there, I guess. It, you might have to like open a door. You might have to get to a certain place for the pods to start growing, but I don't think so. I think the pods just grow, so I definitely like, I straight up like get to the, where that becomes a purple pod and then I could just like open it up, get like a man of war or something. That'd be super cool. Let's get that. Alright, round. I think it's round 8 is when the Margul comes. That's gonna be hard. I don't think you can kill the Margul in Beast Mode. I don't think you can. I can try it. I don't think you can. Um, I'm gonna pick up the Shiva just for funsies. Shiva sucks, but it's fine. But yeah, I'm pretty excited because um, actually we're like a couple weeks away from Black Ops 4, which is awesome. And I cannot wait to kill zombies on the Titanic and at um, Alcatraz Island and Gladiator Arena and the Pentagon. Like, I, Dude, I can't wait. So excited, and I actually I've never played Mob of the. Oh, I have played Mob of the Dead. I played it at a friend's house, but I don't have Mob of the Dead, so I've never like played it. Played it like I played it at a friend's house like once. Um, so this is a, it's actually like a new map for me, which is exciting. So I'm pretty pumped. All right. That's a little too close there. Oh come on. There we go. These guys are nice, easy rounds. I mean, they're not too bad. I feel like they're a lot longer in Revelations. I feel like that, like, I really think they are longer in Revelations. They last a long time. If I could hit them, I mean, I'm not trying too hard. But. Good thing I'm so nimble on my feet. There we go. We're good. And we don't need points for anything else at all, so just Why did you buy kill? ammo. What? So, kill do who? these not? I really hope this, like, grows. Even though I'm not opening the door. Maybe there is something that you actually have to, like, open the door for it to grow. That'd be weird. But I don't know. I don't know why they do that. Um, ooh. Insta-kill is honestly probably really good. I don't know if that'll work against the Marvel, though. But it would help me, like, against the zombies whenever the Marvel does come. If I make it to the Marvel. I mean, I can go down any time, so. This is a very tight area. Free ammo. I don't like it. Oh, you're I don't have a... Oh, crap. Oh, jeez. Ah! Get off me! Get off me. Oh, heck yes. Let's go. Ha <laughs> Y'all are going down. See, this would be a great gobble gum to use. Like, if I was using uh, Mega Gobble Gums, use the Death Machine. Oh, man, that would be amazing. Be great. But I'm just using classics, so. Alright, so I think it's round 8, so I think next round. Marvel comes. Oh, okay, that works. That works. Oh, shoot, I need to buy ammo. Ooh, gotta keep looking at that. Also, another good goggle gun would be, like, wall power. Is, like, wall power, you know, I'd get a pack a punched gun. So, that would be super good. Super good. Oh crap. Oh no. Hey wandering hands. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Okay. 
I was gonna leave that crawler there. Okay. I guess I owe you a favor. Okay. There's one down. I guess honestly, wait. You know what? I might actually end it. I might do no quick revive. Honestly, because there's gonna be a lot. Of, yeah, there's a lot of maps. There's a lot of maps. There's 14 maps. So I'm actually gonna end the game there, and that would be Shadows of Evil round seven. So because that it ended, I ended the round after I went down. So I'm actually gonna do that. So. Yeah, Shadows of Evil, round seven. I'm just kind of wrote it down there, so I'm gonna actually look at it at the end and see which which map or maps I got to the highest round on. So round seven is not too terrible, and that's a pretty tight space. But yeah, I just thought of that like three light. Like I know once you get to like round ten, like first room challenge starts to get pretty tough. I'm sure some people are really good at it and get to, get to like round fifty, but whatever. Um, uh, cool. Thank you. I already had that little bit of video, but... Alright, so let's go into the giant. Sick. Sick, dude. The giant. Um, the giant's a pretty easy one. This one doesn't have quick revive anyway. So... Yeah. But... Um, yeah, I think quick... No quick revive will be... Just make it go a little bit faster. Because there's a lot of maps. Like, there's a lot. So. This ain't funny, yeah. Doc. Come on. Skip. Slowly. Skip, skip, skip the cutscenes. Please. Do you know who I am? Yes, I do know who you are. Rick Dolphin. 1.0. Oh. Alright. Here we go. I've done this first room challenge quite a bit. I think I'd, I've done a video on this first room challenge. Yeah, I have actually. I remember that. I think it's awesome. I don't remember what round I got to. Mission accomplished. I've done this first room challenge quite a few times on my own, and I've done it for a video before. But I just, I don't know. I really like first room challenges. I don't know why. It's so simple, and it's not that crazy of a challenge. It's just, I really enjoy it. I don't really need to maximize points or anything. I just shoot them however many times I want to. Knife them. I don't It doesn't matter. I don't care about points because that's the one thing I have plenty of in first room. You're, that's the one thing you'll be not. They won't be short on in first room challenge because you're not spending money on anything other than ammo. So. Um, and this one's pretty nice because it's got this like pretty open area. So. Um, I'm trying to think of what, like, the best first room would be. I don't know. Dude, Chaz V was probably the hardest one, honestly. It honestly is probably the hardest one. Because it's super tight. I think the most interesting one will be Moon. Because Moon has the, um, like, Area 51 spot. So, and that's not the first room because the rounds don't count up on Area 51. So, you can't actually increase rounds. So, obviously, if I just stayed in Area 51, it would be round one no matter how long I survived in there. So... Um, it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. I'd have to act I have to leave Area 51, but I don't feel like there should be a restriction on. I have to leave right away. So hypothetically, if I got into the side with if if Jug spawned instead of Speed Cola, then I could get Jug if I like was able to survive in No Man. But that'd be a gamble because, like, if I die in, or not, no man's land—that's origins. 
if uh, it, in uh, Area 51. If I die in there, then I, it's just round one, it's game over. But I could try to stay and try to rack up enough points to get Jug. It would be fun. That would be nice, but... Because Jug is not quick revive, and that was the rule made. It was not quick revive, but I feel like I can use Jug if I wanted to. I mean, it's my channel. It's, it's my video. I can make the rules however I want. Boom. Come at me. I'm going to make a first room challenge video where I'm allowed to open one door. No, oh, that'd be dumb. <laughs> that would be dumb. But. Also, this one's funny because it, like, teases you with Pack Punch. It's, like, right there. So does Revelation. It, like, Pack Punch is right there at the beginning, and the monster, like, eats it. And it pops in, like, eats it or whatever. And this one is... Again, like, it's right there. It's just behind the locked door. Oh, crap. Well, dang. Oh, my gosh. Okay. That's disappointing. That is dis Okay. Um, it, it always happens to me. I get caught, like, not paying attention. Because I start talking. And when I talk, I lose focus. And stuff like that happens. All right. Uh, I mean... It's upsetting because I know I could do so much better on the giant. Like, I've done so much better on the giant. I know I can do so much better on the giant. That's super disappointing. It wasn't, it was round four. I mean, that's like, God, zombies weren't even getting like hard yet. Like, it wasn't, oh man, that's disappointing. But I mean, it is what it is. I gotta pay attention. All right, DE, my favorite map, let's go. It took me forever to get to like round 30 on this one. I had like, my record was like round 29 for the longest time. I was like, ah, dang. Oh. I can't imagine if I got to like round 12 on this and just had to like fight a Panzer in the first round. Or first round. But, yeah, I don't think I'm getting round 12. Most likely not. Um, we may have escaped the uh, no judge, or no quick drive allowed. Face to face with another twisted we will just go ahead and buy this. We never be free of this nightmare? And I do get a gobble gum this time. Oh boy, the first game where I get a gobble gum. Danger close. It's not really the one I want. The one I want the most is In Plain Sight. That one's just, it's so good. It's just the best, it's just the best classic gobble gum. Like, I don't think there's an argument there. Like, there's definitely arguments on like what the best gobble gum is, but out of the classic ones that you don't have to get from the, um, I don't know, that you don't have to get from the uh, Dr. Monty's factory, I feel like in plain sight is pretty definitively the best one. Like, some, I, I mean, Danger Closest can be really good depending upon like what guns you use. Like with Mustang and Sally, it'd be really good. But I mean, in plain sight, you just you can get out of so many situations. Like, anywhere but here is also a good one, but that one just, it, it helps you get away from zombies, but, I mean, that's it. It doesn't, like, give you time to, like, get your bearing. Like, you just spawn in an area, and you're like, oh, crap. You got to kind of, like, find out where you're at. Zombies are still chasing you. Like, in plain sight, they just ignore you. It can also help you, like, revive someone, you know, if you're playing two-player. You can just hop in plain sight, revive them like nothing. The only problem with that is you kind of have to be careful because whenever the person gets up, they don't have in plain sight. So they'll like be screwed and the zombies will all be going after them. So you kind of have to be careful with that. But like, I mean, you know, it's pretty great goblin. And you got idolized, which is just in plain sight, but better. Take these buddies down. 
try to beat the uh, giant record. Let's see if we can do that. It's gonna be tough. I just realized the one that's probably gonna suck the most is let me knock Darren Toten. Just because it's just they take so long to spawn. They really do. But that, that one's gonna be weird, but that one really doesn't change the map that much. Like the map's literally only like three rooms, so first room challenge really doesn't do much. like will suck with like bad weapons these dog rounds are amazing normally but with like sucky weapons they might suck yeah. I mean that one wasn't bad and I don't know how many more I'll have so crazy would be if I did get to round 12. I, I do, I want to get to a boss. I really do. My plan for the Panzer is to um if I get to round 11 or round 12, at the end of round 11, I'm going to spin the tram and simply pray for a death machine and if I don't get it then I will most likely die very quickly. Um, but the odds of me getting to round 12, I mean, it's possible. I think I've definitely gotten round 12 on a first room challenge before. I mean, I feel like I have. I don't know. I know I've definitely got to like round 10, and I mean, 12's not that different. Uh. Go. Just taking these guys out. All right. Come. On. I yeah. I think it'd be awesome to get to a boss. Like that would be pretty cool. Hey, got some liquid divinium. <laughs> Not gonna get much of that with this challenge. Ah, zombie. Dude, I'm only on the third map. There's so many maps. Oh, this is amazing. Oh, insta-kill. Let's go. Uh, I know, like, I've seen... The craziest first room challenge I've ever seen was like, it was a first room challenge, it was technically a first room challenge, but it was actually like a high round strat, which sounds weird because you think like, first room challenge and high round strat should not 
be the same thing, but it, uh, I think it's Mr. Dog JD. he's the one who, is his video, but, um, I don't know if he's the one who came up with the strap, he did the strap, but he may have found it from someone else, I don't remember it, I saw the video a long time ago, but it was in Kino Der Toten, uh, Black Ops 3, specifically, you can't do this in Black Ops 1, but what you have to do is you have to get, um, from the gobble gun machine, you have to get the immolation liquidation to get the fire cell power ups, and then you have to spawn those in. You have to spawn those in on the ground, and then just pray that, and then spin the gobble gum again, and pray that you get crate power. So then, if you get crate power, you eat the crate power gobble gum. You see, or you grab the crate power gobble gum, you pick up the immolation liquidation power up or the fire cell power ups. So then the fire cell activates, and you can spin the box. And what you have to do is pray that within your limited box spins, you get the thunder gun. But the thing is, is you can't, you don't get as many spins because you can't. Uh, oh crap. Wait, oh, in plain sight. Ha <laughs> that's why it's so great. Oh, I love it. Oh, another thing I could do with the Panzer is just use in plain sight. But you have to pray, because, like, if you can't pick up guns, like, you know, you get more spins from a fire cell if you pick, pick up the guns and then uh, just switch them out, because it's on a time limit, and obviously you don't have to wait for them. If you do that, you don't have to wait for them to... Um, Oh crap, jeez, I got stuck twice. You don't have to wait for them to go away and disappear, but you have to with this, because if you pick them up, then you waste your crate power. But basically, you just hope that you get the Thunder Gun, and if the Thunder Gun comes up, then you get it, you get the Thunder Gun with crate power, so you have a Pack-a-Punch Thunder Gun in the starting room, and if you do that, it's, like, better, because it's with, like, the, they spawn it, the... Zombies spawn in really fast. You don't have, um, you don't have, uh, what am I thinking? Nova crawlers, so you don't have those guys bothering you. And you can also use Perkaholic to get all the perks. So you'd be like set. So you have the th Pack Punch Thunder Gun, uh, Perkaholic in the starting room, and they'd like spawn in really fast. You don't have Nova crawlers because you didn't turn the power on, and it's like. You apparently you can get to round one hundred, like you can get to a high round like super quickly. Like that's kind of the idea behind it, and it's like that's crazy. I don't want to do that because that's just it's so much RNG, so much RNG. It just does not sound fun. Or it sounds fun if you get it, like, but it just be hard to get it because. It's just a lot of RNG. It's crazy. Oh crap. Well, there goes that. Well, dang. Did not get to the Panzer. But I did get my new high score from today on the first new challenge. Oh my gosh. Let's go. Let's go. Round 9. What's next? Garad Krovi? No. Is this, I think Zetsubo's next. Yeah. Garad Krovi's three. Oh, dang. Zetsubo Noshima is next. I've never played this map. Ever. Not at a friend's house. No, no. I have not. I've seen the map. I have not played it at all. Never have I ever. So I'm about to play it for the first time. Well, let's go. I'm kind of excited. I know it's like the worst map on Black Ops 3. Like, that's why it's the last map that I got. Um, but, so I've actually, I've seen this cutscene, so I kind of know. So I'm probably still going to skip the cutscene, even though it's the first time I've seen it on my own TV. But it's fine. I'm skip it. Take it easy, Tack. Um, but, yeah. It's like the worst map in Black Ops 3. Or that's what most people think. I'm sorry. 
I don't speak Japanese. The object in your hand, it's gonna bring you nothing but pain. Believe me, I know. Give us something key back. I'm an annoy of the Emperor himself. Alright, let's go. Let's go. That's the bow. No shame. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm underwater. Holy crap. The island. Home to Division 9's research. Alright. Their work is perhaps even more twisted and unnatural What's than this? that of Group 9. I don't know what that is. I almost admire them. Um. Got a map. Cool. This thing. Most spiders are actually completely harmless. That doesn't make me hate them any less. So fine. What I cool. Chew. I chew only to secure. Cool, cool. Wonderful! I mean it. I'm Wait. genuinely satisfied. There's like spiders in this map too, which I don't know what that is. But it's fine that there's spiders because there's I mean there's spiders in Revelation, so this is crazy that there's like spiders. Take up the bucket. And I fill up the bucket. I mean I feel like you could just like go underwater and fill up the bucket. I mean I feel like it would just be that easy. Um, I'm about to do the entire Easter egg within this starting room. Plant seed. Boom. I'm doing a thing. Perhaps this time the doctor will develop a green farm. That has nothing to do with getting green. I think that's like one of the kind of complaints about this map is that it's like Call of Duty Zombies Gardener or something or like something like that. I don't know. It's like just a lot of planning and waiting for things to grow or something. I don't know. Hey, I got another thing. Can I fill up the water? I feel like you should be able to fill up the water like this. Fill up the bucket. Oh, hey, there's a thing here. Um, I totally know what that says. It says, um, within this place, you will die. Yeah, that's what it says. I have no idea what it says. But that is a true statement. I mean, eventually every zombie game ends. I mean, honestly. So, yeah. Yeah, I have no idea what that cipher says. Alright. I think this map kind of has like a cool setting. I mean, for zombies, like, reminds me of, like, um, Shinonuma. And I like that map. That's a fun map. I just don't play it as much because it's not like Pack a Punch. I just, I really like, like, I like the newer maps with the, like, the newer stuff that makes it easier. You know? I like when things can get easy. You know, like their eyes and draw. Like a lot of people say, like get maps like too easy, but I like it because it's easy. You know, but I don't know. It's just I like Pack Punch. It's just it's, it's Pack Punch. You need you need Pack you need Pack Punch. But I don't know. I like uh, shooting. Or is, yeah, shooting. I would question the professionalism of any It's cool. It's cool. Oh, there's a thing. Fire Oh my gosh, things are about to get crazy. Oh my gosh, is there a box in here? Is there not, is there seriously? Oh crap. Well, there's another round four for you. Alright, there's another round four victory. 
Is there not a box in the starting room? I didn't see a light in the starting room. I feel like there should be a box in the starting room. I was like, I got super excited. I was like, holy crap, I'm about to get like the, the ray gun or something. I'm trying to think, is that the, like the best gun in the box? Because I know the ray gun's not as good in Black Ops 3. Just because there's like better weapons, but like out of the box in this one, I don't know if, I don't think the, I don't think you get, um, the Wonder Weapon out of the box in this one, in that one. I don't know. Um, it would be super dope if you could, if it was like planting seeds in this map. Is man, if you could get a fire sale in this map, and if there's a box in the starting room, and you got the freaking ray gun, oh my god, that would be dope. That would be so cool. Or the ray gun Mark III, I mean, that would be awesome. I'm trying to, I don't know if there, I think there actually is a box location, because you can get a fire sale off a zombie, it's just kind of rare. I don't know if there's like a. I don't know if it's like after a certain round or not. I don't know how it works. Um. I think there is a box location in spawn. I think there is, honestly. I think it's like over here. No. Is there not? I was thinking. I was thinking there would be one like right here. Maybe there's not. Dang. I should also track down Riptide. I guess exactly there's what he wanted with a blood. Guess there's not. Find out exactly why we were zipping around the place. This shit always loses its taste too damn fast. I guess there's not a box location. Dang, that would have been awesome. Get a fire sale and get the Reagan Mark III. Oh. Better keep me amazing. Other Nikolai might be a bit of a handful. This map, actually, I was, which one did I say would be the most annoying? I don't remember. But this one is definitely the most annoying. Because I've done the first room challenge on this map before. And, yeah, it, it's an annoying one. Because, see, you, you don't, you haven't opened any doors. So, therefore, the dragon only fires, breathes fire in one spot. So, therefore... Like, literally, like, every round, this spot, like, I, I've done it before, I, like, kind of started training here, and it's going pretty good, but then, like, every round, the dragon would come and re-fire, and I just get so annoyed. Almost kill me. Probably should go see a dentist when this is all over. I don't know, I think anywhere but here, like... I don't think it like spawns you to a place you haven't opened yet, so I I think it would just spawn me somewhere in the. Oh, sorry, I should try it right now. Yeah, it just takes you to another spot of the starting room. Yeah, this one's not a bad one to have, but in plain sight's better. Let's go. This is actually like really gross. I mean, it's just stomach. Uh, we just have this one, and then Revelations, and we're done with the um, main maps, and we'll be on to Zombies Chronicles. Oh man. Exciting, exciting. gotten like two because this is Onoshima I was like I'm ready okay. never played this map before I'm ready to go and then even with all his ranting I sure hope he's in a good and I just mood. I saw the fire cell and I got excited that maybe I'd get like a good gun and then all my hopes and dreams were crushed 
because I went down. Round four. So now, my highest round on that map is four, which is less embarrassing than zero. Or, I mean, more embarrassing than zero. Because when it was zero, I'd be like, oh, I just never played the map. Now it's like, oh, your record on that's four. You played the map and you got to round four. What a loser. You know. And you could even be like, oh, I was doing first room challenge. But even that, it's still, like, pitiful for the first room challenge. Never a good thing. Oh, jeez. Oh, we beat the Zetsubo no Shima and the giant. Wow, it's crazy. Quick, quick. Here, I'm gonna come over here. This spot's like way more open. This is what would happen. I'd be training like here, and I'd get a good train going, and then the thing, the dragon would come and breathe fire like this. Oh my gosh! Speak of the devil! I'd get a good train going, and then he'd come around, screw up my train, ignite all the zombies. What do I have to do to bag more bullets? I remember a uh, funny story actually. Uh, my first, uh, you don't have to do that. Uh, or whenever no, I was really doing the first room challenge, it's the first uh, on this map, the first time, I actually finally died. Like my final death was actually really funny because, um, or a down. That was super funny. I got, uh, one second. I got trapped back here. Like, I think it was probably the fire breathing thing. And I got trapped back here. And the zombies were coming. Yeah, it was the fire thing. I was training them up. Fire came. So I went back there and then I got trapped. So I um, started shooting. Well, then I had it in plain sight. So I popped in plain sight. And they started going away from me. Well, then I, like, kept. I just kept shooting at them. You know, kill some zombies while just, like, you know kill some zombies while they're not on me so whenever they do start attacking me again they there will be less of yeah just kill some zombies obviously like this just i was just doing this but back there and i killed a zombie like i just i died and i was like what the heck i had in plain sight like what just happened i was so confused and i realized what i had done the guy had breathed fire Oh, that's amazing, man. Oh, that's great. Oh, that's great. Um, the guy had, re had uh, done his fire thing. And, uh, so one of the zombies was an inferno, uh, like, a fire zombie like that. And I killed him right next to me, just like that. Did that last bit of damage, because I was, like, red screen whenever I turned on in plain sight. I was in in plain sight. I was red screen. And I, uh, the zombie and I went down I was like what just happened that's so dumb and I was like oh that's fair they just kind of did that little uh, damage whenever he dies so I was like that I mean that's fair I can't get mad like it's game what mechanic it wasn't you, like dragon. it was like a glitch or something like if it was like a glitch where a zombie You're still attacked right. me while I was in um, in planes while I was like had him playing something on, then I would have been mad. But I was like, I can't even be mad. Like, that's a game mechanic. It's a fair game mechanic. I mean, it's fine. So I was like, I can't even, I can't even get mad. But it was fun. I thought it was funny. That was like, in, I had in plain sight on and still went down. <laughs> Used in plain sight to save myself from going down. Still went down. I mean, that's like next level suckage. Like, next level. 
I'm thinking I need some more ammo. More ammo. Nice. Well, I feel like go buy some. Let's be honest. Putting boards up doesn't exactly do a whole lot to protect us. He's got a point. He's, he's like, putting boards up doesn't do a whole lot to protect us. I mean, he's got a point. Get killing while the point. killing's good. All right, round eight. Sick. Got another liquid divinium. And there's the fire. Great. Great, dude. Cool. I don't know how I threw all those grenades. Complete waste. Did not hit a single zombie. Oh, nice. Nice. Oh, crap. Well, there goes that. Okay. <laughs> Round eight. I mean, I still haven't gotten to round ten. Like, what the heck, man? Like, really? Still haven't gotten to round ten? Gosh, that's sad, man. Like, it's kind of sad. But it's fine. It's like 12 o'clock at night. I'm tired. It's, it's fine. I'll just go through a list of excuses. All right, now we're on Revelations, and then we'll get into the Zombies Chronicles. Oh, man. So we're actually, like, almost halfway done. Like, two more maps, and we're halfway done. Like, Revelations and Nocturne Totem, I think, will be halfway. So after we do after we do Revelations and Noct, yeah, Noct 7. So that'll be, Nocturne Totem's halfway. So, Revelations, here we come. Okay, uh, let's recap a bit, shall we? We shall. This was meant to be a new Except start. Except I'm gonna skip the recap as soon the as I can. Perfect world, free from all the evil that had corrupted each and every Come on. of the known it's and unknown. I really wish it would skip faster. I bet. I, I bet a, a PS4 Pro would probably kids, skip it faster. The you know, have a shorter loading time. That'd be little. nice. But well, so far, I'm not gonna go so out and good. spend money to buy another PS4 when I already have one. Like faster, but like things started it's probably on. nice. Like if you didn't have a PS4, you can you get a better arrived. one. Or if you have like a lot of money, you can get an upgrade. But I, think that's, well, I don't have that much money, now, so I'm not gonna I go can understand your initial shock coming face to face with Maxis, it's, especially after so long. Come on! But you did the right thing. You brought the summoning key This one here, takes so long. And you destroyed that bloody machine really once does. and for all. Still can't believe we haven't gotten to round 10 yet. That's sad. Thing is, Maxis went and balled everything up. There you go, Maxis. What are you doing? Alright, there we go. Skipping that. Nice. And there's the back punch. Tease. Oh no, he took it. Oh darn. Whatever will we do? Where the hell did everyone go? God um, damn it. No matter how hard I wanted to believe, deep down I just knew Richtofa was gonna fuck everything up. Alright. Come on, Monty, make it a good one. I like miss both those shots, but it's fine. Alright. This isn't too bad of a starting room. It's it's pretty open. I mean it's not like so open that like it's got this part that's kind of like annoying, but I mean I, as starting rooms go, it's not the worst. It's not the worst. Some ammo. Right fucking now. 
I got it. I got the ammo. And this gun. Okay. Insta kill. Nice. My knife was getting a little lonely. Here we go. I suppose I better try and find this doctor, Monty. It seems like he was on the right side of the fight. All right. Jeez, let's where go. do I start? Kill. Now, see. This one, I could do a thing where I like activate this because it's a turret and not really a door, and I could activate that and get a turret available for me. But as like it doesn't just activate the turret, it also does like open a door to another area, so I'm not gonna do that. Because it, it does open a door. Like, I had missed all those shots. That was so bad. I, like, I was, like, splitting them. Like, it, like it's trying to, like, it was, like, trying to score it between their heads or something. That was terrible shooting. But it's Always fine. Gets the job done. Um, but, yeah, it's not technically, like, opening a door, but it is. It, it, I mean, actually, like, I don't know what I'm talking about. It does 100% open a door. It opens this door right here. Oh, I'll just activate the turret and not go through the door, but no, nah, it opens the door. That's cheating. I feel like I do that with every single challenge I do. I'm always like, well, I could do this loophole right here, but nah. I always try to find a loophole, but I never do. I don't really want to do a loophole. Never turn it down before. I ain't starting now. I mean, I'm getting quite a few power-ups. Oh, oh, I did pick it up. Let's go. I was hoping I could just, like, sneak by and grab that real quick. This thing goes through ammo so quickly. I mean, I just bought ammo, but it doesn't matter. It's nice, like, not having to worry about points, honestly. Or ammo, really. I mean, yeah, you still have to worry about ammo in, like, the sense that, like... You don't want, you can run out, you're never gonna just be like, oh, I'm like completely out of ammo and can't get more, like I'm, you know, but you can like run out in a bad situation where you're like, crap, I gotta go get ammo now. Ah, oh my gosh, if these parasites knock me down, I'd be so mad. Like, there really are so many parasites on Revelation, oh my gosh. Stop. Seriously, stop. I hate this because it makes your screen go red. So, like, I can't tell if I'm red screen or not. Like, your screen has a red tint, so you can't really tell how damaged you are. Hey, I got a time attack done. Let's go. Four minutes and 38 seconds. Nice. Abundantly clear. Things are seriously out of whack. Business as usual, I suppose. Anyway, I'm having a bit of a heated debate with the old shadow man and his apothecary pals. And it's making it real points, nice. This reality Even stable. though it doesn't really. It's I mean, nice. Honestly, but look at fine. it. It's practically held together with tape. And bits of string. Oh. There we go. Gun's getting lighter than I'd like. Probably lack of bullets. All right. Oh, there's like literally a maximum right there. does the boss come in this one? Like, I think in Margoa comes. 
it round seven or is it round eight? I don't remember. I think it might just be round eight. That's, yeah, he's not coming this round. It's round eight. So I just don't screw things up here. I should be getting to a boss. baby oh dang I got double hit real good right there oh I got double hit like I got smacked dang picked up that nuke and just got smacked came out of that red screen good thing it was a nuke and not like a death machine jeez so if I pull off this margua attack I like survive it. That'd be impressive. I think. All right, here we go. I think it's. I think he's coming. I think he's coming. I think. I hope not. Actually, I kind of hope. I kind of want him to come because I want to fight a boss first room challenge. Is he not coming? Oh, maybe he's not coming. Is the Marble supposed to come like round seven or eight? Where's the Marble? I feel like. I feel like he like. Yeah, crap. I feel like he's. Flashbacks. Time for a fair yeah. to go down. I don't know where the monk was at. I feel like he should be here. This will put me in a good mood. Like. Time to pop pus buckets and reap the reward. I don't know. I feel like there should be more of it. Did I glitch him? Or is he just, does he come later than I thought? Did that, did I do a thing? Did I just hacks the game? Did I pull off all the hacks? I think I did guys. I don't remember. X kind of sad. Like it makes me realize like how like I'm not playing the uh, zombies as much. Like I still play it some, but I just I mean I've just been playing other games. She's like Spider-Man came out and Shadow of the Tomb Raider came out, so I've just been playing other games. Um, but like I kind of like I've kind of forgotten like when everything comes at what time. Like I know like. Shadows of Evil was round 8. I know Panzer comes around 12 on DE. And I know he comes at round 8 on Origins. I think on this map, I think it's round 7 or 8. I can't remember. But he definitely should be here by now. I know Panzer comes at around like around round 20. And it's like 20, either anywhere from like 20 to 24. No, I don't think it's as late as 24. I think it's like 20 or 21. I think. That one I don't know as well. But. Call that your best shot. Oh no! But I got to 10. Let's go. I don't know why I was going for like that power up. I don't know. I'm stupid, but. Nice. Let's go. About freaking time I got to round 10. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yes. All right. Okay, guys, I may have just gotten cut off right there. Um, I was just saying, like, finally got to round 10. Right now, Revelations is in the lead. I got cut off because, like, uh, I record from my PS4 right now just because my computer is... My laptop's gotten old, so it kind of... It's really slow, so it doesn't record well anymore. So I record straight from my PS4. 
and it can only record for up to an hour. It's actually kind of funny because I was actually going to cut it off once I got to the main menu and then just start another one and then just cut it off anyway. And it's also really funny because it cut it off between the main maps and the Zombie Chronicles maps. So this is technically like a second recording, but it's going to be the same video, I think. I mean, unless I s separate them between all first room challenges of the main maps and then all first room challenges of Zombies Chronicles. But I, it's probably just going to be one video. I don't know. I'll just see how long it is. But, uh, yeah, we'll just get into the Nocturne Totem. But, yeah, we finally got to round 10 Revelations. I think I glitched the, the boss, which is kind of upset. I mean, it's nice. I got, uh, like, but it's kind of upsetting. I wanted to fight a boss. I'll probably, hopefully I'll get to a boss in Origins. That, that gets a boss at around 8. That gets the Panzer at around 8. I don't know if I'll be able to do that because Origins does not have a good starting room. It's very cramped. So that does not have a good starting room. That's I'm probably not going to get to round 8 on that map. And there is no way I'm beating the Panzer. That Panzer in the start here. There, there's, there's no way. Oh man, we're to the 1911 now. But yeah, there, there is no way that I'm getting to round... Um, whatchamacallit. I don't know. Round eight. Yeah. There's no way. No way. Blow up. I dare you. Blow up. I dare you. There you go. Where are all the zombies? I really, I do like Nocturne Totem. This is also like the first time, like, I didn't play it on World at War. I didn't have World, I don't have World at War, so I never played it. And then I didn't have it on Black Ops 1, so. Playing this on Black Ops 3 was the first time I played it. Um, but it, it's just, the early rounds are so slow. Like, I feel like, I feel like they should have increased the spawn rate on the early rounds. I don't think anyone would have gotten mad. I don't like, I know people want it to be like authentic to the, uh, to the original, but I feel like that's something that, that's just like increasing the, increasing the spawn rate makes it more fun. Unless just waiting around for the zombies. So, I feel like that's something that they could have done. It's just make, or, I don't know if it's the spawn rate or it's just that they spawn so far away. I think that's what it is. I think it's just they spawn so far away. And the early rounds are just, they're, they walk. So I think that's probably what it is. But I don't know. It's just, I feel like they could have increased it a little bit. Plain sight. There we go. Let's go, baby. 
You know, these are like a bunch of grenades. Alright. If we shoot these, we should blow up. to kill. Come here. I want to knife you. They're scared. They're scared. They know this knife wins to kill me. They're scared. Come at me. Really? Now they're here and then it's still over. Wow, they timed that perfectly. Ah, eh, they still died, so it's fine. Tied with the Giants at Sponoshima. <laughs> Let's go. Why'd I do that? I didn't... That's just gonna slow him down even more. I'm so dumb. But guess what? I can get Mule Kick. <laughs> There's literally no point to getting Mule Kick. Because the M19... Like, I mean, all the guns suck in high rounds. But the M19 is not gonna do anything in a high round. At all. So honestly, this probably just kind of screws me up with like having to switch through three guns. That's like, I never get mule kick. Like that's the, probably the first time I've fought in mule kick in like, since Black Ops 3 came out. I don't know. I've, I think I've, I don't know. I don't buy mule kick. I don't like it. Like I just, I straight up, I don't like mule kick because I always end up losing my best weapon whenever I go down. So it's like, would I rather have, like, a really good weapon? Like, let's, like, just say, like, the Thunder Gun. And, like, an okay weapon, like the ICR. And, then like, another okay weapon, like the Man of War or something like that. Like, three pretty solid guns. You know, ICR and Man of War could both have, like, double pap on them. So, you know, they're pretty good with the double paps. Like, they're really good with the double pap. Like, you could have Blast Furnace and Dead Wire. Son of a gun. Ah. I don't know. It's dumb. Dang it. Shouldn't have died there. Um, again, I just kind of stopped paying attention. But, you know, like, those three, you think, like, those three guns, like, that's good, but... I mean, honestly, I'd just rather just have the Thunder Gun or whatever Wonder Weapon and then, like, the ICR or something. Because ICRs normally, like, like, Kino, for instance, like, get the Thunder Gun and get the ICR. ICR 
the wall buys on the stage, which is the best training spot, um, either on or in front of the stage, and it's just like, I don't know, like, having a mule kick, sometimes you'll switch, to, I mean, there's so many problems with it, like, I'll switch to the wrong weapon, or, um, like, when I go down, I'll use my, lose my best weapon, and it's just like, all these problems with it, that I'm just like, rather not have it. I'd rather just have a one weapon and then a, a good wall by weapon. My two main wall by weapons would be, like I said, the ICR or like the CUDA. Being fun, like what map and what the locations of those guns are. But, it's just, I don't like Mew Kick. So that's like the first time in a long time I've bought it. Uh, there is no power now. Perhaps there never jug. was. I don't think I think you have to turn the power on to get jug anyway. Yeah, you do. Dang it. I was I was really hoping I could like just straight up get drug, but I can't. But it doesn't it doesn't matter like now if I was like allow if I was just doing this one like solo, like if I was just like the whole video was just um Brooked first room challenge then I would try to get that room because I'd probably use Quick Revive. Just because it's like, I'd use Quick Revive if I wasn't doing like every map. So I'd try to get this room. I'd probably quit, and get, but it doesn't matter. I can't get that anyway, so it really doesn't matter. Come on! The zombies are taking so long. Just waiting, waiting for the zombies. Really, I just wanna, just wanna kill them all. You know what? I think that looks like that would be a fun map. Like the, like burning forest. That would be a fun zombie. Like an outside map. Like that'd be fun. Honestly, that'd be sick. I wonder, like, so I, I played the uh, Blackout beta for Black Ops 4, and you can come here on the thing so you can, like, be outside. So I wonder, like, because I don't think, there's not, like, a burning forest or anything, but I wonder, like, how accurate the outside is. I don't think it is that accurate. I think there's, like, supposed to be, like, there's, like, a shed or something over there or something like that, like a greenhouse or something. I don't know. Things come from above. Right, there you go. But honestly, this is like my favorite place to go in the blackout. Baby. The unholy shall Just because there are zombies the there. The I mean, I enjoyed killing the zombies more than like I enjoyed doing the blackout. I mean, I just wanted to mess around with the zombies. One thing I really wish is that I wish the monkey bomb, like the monkey bomb, would track zombies and blows up. I, but I think there has to be zombies nearby for it to attract zombies. I think that's what it is. I wish that it actually, like, spawned in zombies. Like, if it was, like, if you throw down a monkey bomb, zombies would spawn in the distance. Like, they'd spawn kind of far away. Not super far away, like, but, like, within a certain radius, they'd start spawning in, like, from the ground and like come after you come after the nearest person like i think that would be awesome if it, it actually like calls zombies to spawn in i wish that's what i wish the monkey bomb did so then you could like use it anywhere on the map and just bring zombies onto people 
Like, I think that would be so much better than just, like, it attracts zombies if there are zombies nearby. So, I think that would be awesome. It would be great, dude. Force of one thousand wombats, you die. Nice. Another round down. The pass of the virtuous gives great gifts. I want jug. Give me jug. Speed goal attendance. How great would it be if like cokes were like. Actually, ten cents, or like still ten cents, like it'd be great. I love that. Or like just drinks, but like it doesn't have to specifically be close. Just like you know, go out, get a bottle, or something. And ten cents, yeah, great. Destruction reigns on the unholy. But that just wouldn't make sense for the economy. It, the economy probably wouldn't do good if like everyone has like a lot of money. And then everything's like really cheap. But I don't, I don't know if businesses would make enough money to like stay in business. That was a weird sound. Like, I don't know if you guys heard that, but it sounded like the zombie just started like gargling water. But I mean, I killed him, so it's probably gargling blood, which sounds really gross. It was like, oh, like I can't do it because I don't have anything to drink, so I can't like make the sound without liquid in my mouth. But it was really weird. It was like, oh, oh, oh. It's a freaking brown cloud, man! Oh my gosh. Um. I was just thinking, I was like, hey, like, the building's, like, on fire. And I was just, like, thinking, I was like, hey, like, how cool would it be, like, if, like, the building had burned down throughout the game? Like, that'd be crazy, like, if this is a dynamic map. That got me thinking, I was like, I'm wondering how the Titanic will work. Because there's, like, water in the lower decks in the map. You can see that in the trailers. There's water in the lower decks. The cutscene shows them about to run into the iceberg. So you know that the ship's sinking, like, it, that is obvious, that is, that is obvious from the trailer, so I want to know, um, oh my gosh, I want to know if it, like, On this day, continuously all. sinks, um, if it, like, continuously sinks I will during the game, ammunition. like, if it's dynamic like that. Or if it's just like kind of paused in a certain state of sinking. Nice timing. I don't know how to say that, but um, so I don't know how that works. I feel like it's probably gonna stay in a single state of sinkage, which just because like you know doing Easter eggs, like if it's like you got to do the Easter egg before the boat sinks, like putting it on it, putting it on a time limit just it wouldn't make sense that would kind of ruin the gameplay i think um like i don't think you can have zombies on a timer like that i don't think that would work so i don't i think it's probably just gonna be like hey the boat's sinking but it's gonna be sinking for however long you play the game you know it would be cool though if like certain steps it would be kind of cool if like certain easter egg steps like carried on with the uh like if certain easter egg steps like progressed the sinking so um like you know you go through like five steps and the boat the water level rises and then it changes the map as you go on with the easter egg that would be cool maybe i don't know I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. But that's uh, it was round seven. Not too shabby. Um, but 
yeah. All right, let's get going with the next map. Shino Numa, oh my gosh. Let's go. Let's go. I actually, I do really like this map. It's pretty fun. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Man, taking forever to load. Really wish it just like load instantly. Just, man. No, I get it has to load though. Like, I mean, you know, it, it's gotta gotta load up the map, but it should do it faster. We're good. All right, we're in. Let's do this. Gobble gum. Let's go. Danger closes. All right. Cool. Grab some, some points. There we go. Grab that or not. All right. Sick. Cool. Where are? Yeah, there they are. Which one? Oh, he's right there. It's not dead. Good, we good. Alright. <laughs> I need to get some slugs. Dude. We're good. Good. Sad day. Sad day. Come on, where are the zombies at? That's the only bad thing, like, I was like, Super Ray do this video, and I was so excited. I was like, oh man, first room challenge. And all the maps is gonna be great. But the only bad, the worst part about this is that you're just doing the first rounds over and over and over again, and they're the slowest rounds. You're just like, come on, really? Okay, sorry about that. Technical difficulties. Technical difficulties, but we're good. But yeah, you just do this the first Free round ammo. over and over and over again. And it's just really slow. Like, I was like, hey, do the first room challenge. It's really awesome. I really, really like the first room challenge. It's really fun. And, you know, it doesn't take a super long time, so just do it on every map. Oh, geez. You know, clearly it doesn't take a long time because I just got freaking round two. I mean, come on. Like, what? That's sad. This is this is a sad, sad video of first room challenges. Wow, this is bad. But you know, it's just a lot of like. Doing one first room challenge is really fun, you know, but the, like doing it over and over again, you're just like, it's that first round, you know, you're just like, come on, like I really need these zombies to spawn in, like right now. But it's fine. It would get more interesting if I could get past round four. My gosh. Oh boy. Kino dared hope. Oh boy. We got it. We getting it on Kino. I'm excited for Moon. Just with the Area 51. I'm excited for Moon. I could possibly get Jug on Moon too. Which is super interesting. Get Jug on first room challenge without like gobblegums and stuff. Because I mean obviously if you use Perkholic or on the house or something, you can get it, but, oh man, boom, Maybe someone should go turn let's on the power get now. this going, get the gobble gum in plain sight, oh, already, already in plain sight, dude, this is going to be a good round, if I pay attention, I feel like, I feel like it's just, it's 
stop paying attention. I don't know. But it's fine. We're fine. Get just a really good round this game. Let's just get a really good, really good round. Let's do it. There you are. There you are. Let's go. Alright. Killing it. I can't believe I got round two. That's just sad. Man, I can't. It's kind of disappointing because it's like, I just kind of just got double hit. I, honestly, that zombie like double hit me real bad. And then I was like, oh crap, I gotta get away. And then he was just like, no, you ain't getting away. And I was like, oh dang. And, um, yeah. But it's really unfortunate because if, you know, I wanted to do the first time challenge on uh, Shino Numa, but that just didn't really pan out because I didn't I didn't even really do the challenge at all, like honestly. It was so short it wasn't even like it's was just like, hey this is the starting room. Like the challenge hadn't even really started, so that's kinda sad. But it is what it is. Boom! Already, Why am I so heavy I'm already now? doing better. Already, let's go. <laughs> already doing loads better. Get you know, as starting rooms go, this isn't like that good of a starting. Room. I don't know, it, it, it's it's not a bad one, but it's not like one that's like super amazing. Like, I mean, I don't know, this place is pretty open, you got the steps, it's, it's alright. And, you know... Um, the hardest map in Black Ops 3, honestly, is probably just, uh, is probably Shangri-La. Shangri-La, oh, it's a hard map. I don't know if that's gonna be, like, harder compared to these other maps. In the first room challenge, because, I mean, the best training spot on the map is in the first room, like, or my favorite training spot. Like, it's just, there's no training spots on the entire map, so it's just, the training spot I use is in the starting room. I haven't even really been getting into like where I need to train because I've just been sucking Three so capitalist much. Dogs, give me ammo. Alright, come on. This gun needs more ammo. This gun runs out of ammo too quickly. Like, it's so much better than Shiva, but it just runs out of ammo so quick. I need no tell pigs! Double dies! Oh, man. Double points. I need to get to round 10 again. I've only gotten round 10 on one, one map, so... That's kind of bad. And it's actually kind of funny because right now, I've only gotten round 10 on one map, and that map's Revelations, and it's also the map that I have the highest uh, round on. Like I got to round 50 on that map, so. Ah. Oh my gosh, don't even, don't do it. Really? Apache. I have Please issue. Don't do it. I don't like the red screen. I don't, I don't like it. Don't 
especially in this challenge, you know, I'm kind of sensitive right now. It's, I don't have any quick revive. Just really cannot handle the red screen right now. Can't do it. Gotta get ammo. Oh, nuke. Nice. That's what we need. That is what we need. Is nuke. Also, I need to, like, not forget that I uh, have. Oh, I found the rock! Um, Great. Like I need to remember I have that. Sometimes I forget to use it. So, whenever that happens, I get mad at myself. So I'm like, ah, I should not have died there. Now the rounds are starting to pick up some. So that's good. I don't know how they get hit there at all. That's crazy. Getting low on ammunition. The new, there we go. Salute. Round seven. Here we go. Oh, buddy, it's a dog round. You don't want my soul. It probably tastes like water. Come at me, dogs. I'm going damn. Oh, jeez. These dogs are gonna like, kill me back here. This is a bad idea. It's good. It's good I usually just like to get a spot to where they can only come at me from like the front. Okay, that works. Because, you know, so I don't have to like watch behind me because they're fast. They're fast little boogers. You know, now that they, um, now that they have the M14 and the, uh, Olympia in the game, like, it'd be cool if they updated the maps to where those were the starting, starting weapons on, like, these older Zombie Chronicles maps. That'd be cool. Uh, don't do it. Okay, I need to start, like, getting the train going or something. Oh. Yeah, I'm talking that. Okay. Oh jeez. Probably gonna have to pop another one. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Oh. Oh. The maneuvers. Oh. Here we go. This is a lot more exciting. Needing more ammo because this gun has like zero ammo. And it's dope once we don't need it. All right. All right, there we go. That was much better. Much more exciting. to start trying to train them up a little bit so then I'm not just getting caught from zombies and stuff come quickly I'm surrounded oh I got double swiped real hard though. I 
Uh, uh, oh no! I know I had in plain sight, but that's my biggest problem with in plain sight is that I'm always like trying to get out of it without using in plain sight. So I'm like, ah, I don't need it. And then I do need it, and then I'm dead. But, ah, oh, man. Kino is round nine. All right, cool. I was gonna make it through, but I got one hit, and I was like, oh, I'm good, and then I got double hit. It just, gah. Dang it, man. Dang it. What's next? Is Ascension next? I think Ascension's next. Yeah. I've never done A lot of these, like, Zombie Chronicles maps, I haven't done the first room challenge on. I don't think I've done first room challenge on that one before. I've done that one, definitely. Don't know about that one. Obviously, I haven't done that one. I haven't played it before. I have done it on that one. I think I've done it on that one, maybe. I don't know. I've done it on quite a few, but yeah, we got Ascension now. We'll get this going. This will be interesting. This will be black and white the entire time. So, yeah. Nice. Oh, and then we're gonna have that thing, like, ooh, I don't think this is gonna be a very good one, because we're gonna have that, like, big thing that turns on, that, like, Spins around. I don't think this is gonna be a very good one. Nope. I mean, I'll try, definitely, but I don't. I don't see this one working well. But hey, since I'm doing first room challenge with no quick revive, the monkeys aren't gonna annoy me anymore. Like they're not gonna annoy me because you know I don't have any perks for them to take away. That's like my biggest thing with this, like, I hate that mechanic. I just, I hate it so much. Why is there no power? Who am I talking to? I just, I hate the monkeys so much. Like, I really like this map. You know, opening pack punch is cool. You launch a rocket. It's a pretty, like, easy map. Like, it's kind of one, like, Honestly, if it didn't have the monkeys, I'd probably honestly play this one almost as much as I play Kino. Because, like, Kino's one that I just, if I just want to, like, a chill game of zombies where it's just, there's not a lot of setup, you just kind of go on just to kill zombies. It's not like you're really doing anything. Like, you know, I'll play Kino. I would do this map, but it's just, the, the monkeys are so annoying. See, that's going to be annoying. That's gonna be just super annoying for the Persian challenge. <laughs> oh gosh. It's just, I don't know, the monkeys, like, y it's basically impossible to defend two perks at the same time. Like, you, like, you just can't do it. Like, I'm sure someone can, but it's hard. Like, I can't do it. Like, I'm sure someone's like, oh yeah, I defend two perks all the time. You know? But, like, when perks are, like, all the way across the map, like, you gotta, there's no way you're defending them all. This is happening way too often. This is annoying. Okay. Oh, it killed the zombie, though. That's fine. Um. But, like, especially, like, solo. If you know if you're playing multiplayer, you know you can have multiple people guarding each perk, and it's fine. But it's just like the solo, you're the only one, and you need the two main perks you need are jug and quick revive, and you have to guard quick revive because if they take away quick revive, then it takes away one of your uses of it, and then that's annoying. And then, but with jug, like if you get jug early on, and then by the time the first monkey round comes you don't have enough points for jug i mean you're, i basically i lose jug like every monkey round which is annoying and if i don't have enough money to buy it back then i'm going without jug for a little bit i'm just like you gotta stop taking my perks like it's not fun but i'm just being a baby i mean i don't know it's fine it's whatever
and it honestly gets kind of hard to kill them because I don't ever have double tap because I, don't, I only get two perks because they keep taking my perks so I don't ever have double tap so like later on my guns don't do as much damage as they normally would and so I, it's hard to, and they're so small so they're hard to hit I don't know. It's fine. I should probably stop complaining. And just get good. But this is a fun map. I do like it. It's cool. Ooh, nuke. There we go. Body parts. It is Alright, let's go get some more ammo for this. Already at round five, already doing better than a lot of the other maps. <laughs> Alright. This one like it's a really like open one. Like it yeah, it's got this thing that's super annoying, but I think it'd be fun if you like jump onto that thing. Try to go lives. I don't think you can do it, but like right here, like whenever that thing spins around, it's kind of got a platform right there, and just like yeah, jump onto yeah. that platform, like Send this one right here, and spin around. That'd be awesome. Oh, we have any skill. That's right. I forgot. I started just spraying into him when I didn't need to. Oh my! Really? That's what you get me on is not recovering from a knife and getting so oh well I guess I shouldn't have knifed but I was like he's right there in my face and I was kind of like I had I mean I had another shot at my RK5 but I just I don't know knifed him I was against like, to kill was fine but it wasn't fine <sighs> oh crap what round was that six five six I think it's five I don't know I can look. Come on, come on, yeah, five, okay. All right, now we got Shangri-La, all right. This is another map that I wish I was like, I wish it was easier, like had like a good training spot because I like the setting of it. Like the temples, like whatever. I like it, but it's just, Ah, it's hard, man. It's hard. <laughs> but that's fine. I mean, it's, you don't want every zombie map to be, like, easy. I'm just... I don't know. I feel like I've gotten a lot better at zombies, but I'm still not that great. Like, I, You know, all these people are like, Ooh, I'm gonna get to round 100, and I'm, like, baffled on how I got to round 50. On Revelations, you know. I don't know. It's fine. All right, let's do this. See, and this one has monkeys too, but they don't steal your perks. Let they just kind guess. of like we must steal your power-ups power and change them. And like that, that mechanic doesn't bother me as much. That one's a lot better, honestly, because it's not that bad. And like sometimes you can, if you're good enough, you can use it to your advantage. You know, if you get like a carpenter, you know, you don't want a carpenter, you can let the monkey steal it. And then you go and um, you get a better power. Like, you know, if you're good at you use it to your advantage. Oh, I'm yawning a lot. I don't know why. Fire cell would be awesome. In plain sight, let's go. But yeah, like this game, this map doesn't have a lot. I know, like I think some people might train. I think there's like a door over this that direction that people train. I kind of saw too. I think some people train around here. I personally actually found it. To, like training like in this tiny area right here 
I don't know how that's gonna work now because I have terrible guns, but I don't know, we'll see. I might not even get far enough into the game where I even like can train. Ugh, cold blooded. Sad day. Sad day for the monkey. Calling all zombies, calling all zombies. Come here, come here, guys. So you can do this, but like it's so tight and not having jug or good weapons is gonna be a struggle because it's already a struggle. Even with like good stuff, so like, I mean that was like round three and I was like there's we are destroyed Oh Who's that? That monkey? Jerk. That a shrieking sound cannot be good. Oh no. Here's a, one of those super zombies, isn't it? Will be no more. There we go. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Ah. Good timing. I was getting dry. There we go. Ow. Slapping. Is it a monkey again? I think it was the a price of one? What the heck? I'll buy. You jerk. These monkeys are mean. Keep slapping me. Oh, now you get burn, me. Zombies, burn. Yeah, stupid monkey. Yeah. There is a screaming demon around. Oh my gosh, is there really gonna be just a like mini boss zombie every single round? Pirates by the force of a thousand wombats. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, crap. I was trying, I was, I was trying to, I was trying to back up and reload and then it was all over. Again, dying within plain sight. Oh, the joy, the joy. Like, I want to know. Oh gosh, I can't stop yawning. Gosh dang it. I want to know how many times. I've died with an in plain sight available for me to eat. I mean, it basically makes you invincible for like a second, and then afterwards, after that, like, when, like whenever you initially like activate it, it, makes you like invincible, and then you know, then you're like invisible to the zombies, which is awesome. Hey, we're done with like all the ones that show on the screen from the start. So now we actually have to scroll. Oh, we only have two left. Holy crap. I mean, that's right. I've 
just forgot the thing. We're almost done. Holy crap. Two left. Moon and Origins. And this is the one I'm kind of like excited for. Like if if um Jug comes up, we could try to stay in no man's or not no man's land, it's origins. I did that earlier. Gosh dang it. Um we could try to stay in Area 50 Wood long enough to get points, but I don't know. Dude, how crazy it would be if I just, like, is that, I mean, obviously I'd run out of ammo, but, like, what if I just, like, knifed them? Just kept knifing until I got points for Jug and for Pack-a-Punch. <laughs> 7,500 points. Oh, that'd be insane. The foolish Americans will never gain my secret. See, this is one, like, if you, like, oh, well, there's no Jug, so that's sad. And cool. Alright, well, there's no need for me to say that. See ya. This one's not going to be good. I just remembered. The, the starting weapons are behind the first door. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is not good. This is not going to work. I forgot about this little... I forgot about that little, little tidbit of, oh crap, oh that doesn't matter, I can't buy anything anyway. Stock option, <laughs> this is not going to be good, oh my gosh, this is going to suck. This, this is the hardest first room. Honestly, I forgot about, you know what, actually, since I, I feel like I might want to just, I know I've done bad like I messed up on like the giant you know that's one that I screwed up or could have gotten a lot further but you know what I think for this one I might want to try to I don't know I might restart and try to get pack a punch so I can get like a not starter weapon so I didn't even think think about that like god that's crazy no starting weapons in the, or no weapons is a start god dang it I keep yawning stop but no weapons in the starting room I guess I could keep going because I didn't think about it so I mean I didn't think about it that's my own fault I should have tried to sing pack a punch I don't know. That's crazy, my though. Is at an end. You were my <laughs> um. Come to the doctor. No, no, no. <laughs> that was the gobble gum I wanted to. It would have let me knife him. Okay. Well, there's that. All right. Moon. Round two. Okay. That one. Aw, oh, dang it. And that's the one I was like, ooh, this one's going to be interesting because I could have Jug and this and that. No. Jug didn't then appear. I forgot that there's no weapons in the starting room. That one was just... I could try that one again, try to get Pack-a-Punch. But, I mean, that, that ammo runs out pretty quickly, too. That doesn't have a lot of ammo. It just does massive damage. And it's explosive damage. In a starting room is like not great. I'd probably just kill myself with the Mustang and Sally. So we're just gonna leave that one at two. I th I think we're just gonna leave that one at two and go on to Origins. Yeah. Let's just do that right there. It began long so. ago on the battlefields of the Great War. 
Come on. Two German scientists sought to harness dark and mysterious forces buried for centuries. They believed their discoveries would assure Germany's ultimate victory. What they could never have imagined was just what else yeah. their research would unearth. There we go. Sick. Let's do this. Origins. Let's go. This one, if I get to round eight, I am screwed. That is one thing. I do. I really want to get to round eight. Really want to get to round eight. I'm going to pick up all the parts the because no I'm of the totally target, doing these. Nor the other agents believe to be on intercept course. Dempsey out. I mean, there, and there's honestly no reason for me to even turn on power. Dude, can, oh, can you imagine now, if Moon had the Mauser, oh, I'd totally try to pack punch, get the Boom Hilda, like, oh, I, that's, this is honestly my favorite starting pistol, because whenever you pack punch it, you know, whenever you pack a punch a weapon, unless it's, like, whenever you pack a punch a weapon, they don't really shoot bullets anymore, they kind of like lasers, almost. So, you know, it's kind of like a laser or a blaster bolt, and, you know, it's, it puts a uh, scope on the Mauser, and that was, this is the gun that they used. I don't know if it's the Mauser C96, but, like, it didn't have the circle thing on that mag, but, hold on, I'm trying to, like, I'm literally trying to, like, talk over the <laughs> I'm like trying to like talk over the uh, Dempsey, so I'm gonna turn him down. Um, but yeah, it, I don't think it's this exact Mauser because it's got that. This Mauser has like a little circle thing uh, on where the mag goes, but uh, the DL44 doesn't have that. But yeah, like the DL44, like Han Solo's blaster, is like it's a Mauser with a scope on it and like. A, uh, an extended barrel or not extended barrel but has that little muzzle or it's got like a barrel thing on it a little cone this one I would love to get to love to get to round 8 and just see what would happen with a panzer in the starting room. <laughs> like, that just not work out. It just wouldn't. I mean, honestly, this isn't that bad of a starting room. I mean, you got this area, and if you get in trouble, you get up here, and you got this area, which, I mean, this both of these areas, like, you can kind of train here. Like, it's tight and everything, but you get in trouble. I mean, you can come up here. I'm sure down here's better. This one looks this isn't that bad of a training room. I feel like I could definitely get to round eight. Like, I know I can. It's just, will I? Need ammo here. All right. Get some ammo. Get some more ammo. Um, get in plain sight. Honestly, I need in plain sight for. <laughs> Panzer. There we go. Sick. I really hope I get to the Panzer. I really do. I haven't gotten to a boss yet. I think I got to a boss round in Revelations, but I think I glitched him. Like I think, I'm think, I think Marvel was supposed to come in at like round seven or something, like seven or eight. And he just didn't. And I was so confused. And I think I I think I glitched him somehow. I don't know what I did. But he there definitely should have been a Panzer. Or not a Panzer, a Margua. Margua. But yeah, I don't know. Hey look, it's in plain sight. Hey. Alright, already round five. Oh my gosh.
but so yeah, I haven't fought a boss yet in all these first room challenges. I haven't even fought a boss yet. I feel like I can, like, like I said, this is a pretty open thing. It's got the ammo right there, like, oh jeez, unless I don't screw it up. See, like, I just got in some trouble there, and like, it's so open, you need to do stuff like that. Like, we should be good. I mean, we should be just set for life in the starting room. Sick. Alright. It's like two more rounds. Two more rounds, two more rounds. Kill, oh baby. It's great. Let's go. One more round. That's all we need. One more round. If I go down this round, I'm gonna be so mad. I need to fight. I need. I need to fight a boss in this. This whole video. I. I. I need to. I just. I need to. He's gonna like instantly kill me, but it's fine. I can't shoot. tight in here it's real tight in here okay yep there goes that yep that's it that's that oh let's go let's go that's what I like to see please yes let's go let's go I only have one in plain sight though so there's no way no way am I killing this guy this guy, man. Oh, come here, Panzer, please. Let me hear that horn. Oh, I hear it. Where is he? Where is he at? If he, like, doesn't spawn in the starting... Dude, I swear. Are you freaking kidding me? Are you really just... Not gonna give me the Panzer. Are you kidding me? Are you actually joking? Are you act? Oh wow, that's funny. Are 
Are you actually joking? I like how they like kind of just run away. It's not just they don't follow you. They like run away from you. Which kind of funny. Really? No Panzer? Is it really something like he can he not get inside of the here? What? That's so disappointing. Maybe that happened in Marvel too. He's right outside. I know he is. Dude, I bet you anything he is right outside. Oh, I'm done. Oh, I'm done. Oh, I'm done. Oh, I'm not done. Oh, I'm done. Oh, I'm done for sure now. Yeah, I'm done for sure. Wow! No Panzer. Man, come on. Really? I was like, I just want to get to round eight so I can fight a boss and start. But does he not start spawn? I guess because he drops down from the sky and that's like indoors, but that doesn't make sense. Like there were some holes in the ceiling. Like really, really no Panzer. Dang, I wanted so badly to fight the Panzer. In the starting room on Origins, I got to the round, and nothing. Nothing. That's so disappointing. Oh my gosh. It's so disappointing. Well, that was fun. Um, that was fun. We finally, we did get to the round nine on couple, round ten. Um, but here's the final, final scores. Shadows of Evil, round 7. Giant, round 4. Dare Eyes and Drock, round 9. Zetsubo no Shima, round 4. Garad Krovi, round 8. Revelations, round 10. Nocturne Toten, round 5. Verut, round 7. Uh, Shinonuma, round 2. <laughs> that one was sad. That one was just sad. Uh, Kino Der Toten, round 9. Ascension, round five. Train of Law, round five. Moon, round two again. That one not as, not as depressing, uh, not as sad as uh, Shinonuma because you know there was no weapons in um, Moon, but definitely could have gotten to round, past round two. Like there's been times where I'd like knife, only knife for the first two rounds like I've done that for, like I could get past round two that one I was just going for the gobble gum to, so then my knife would do massive damage not massive but like five times damage so that one I was going for the gobble gum risked it I risked it for the biscuit I did not get the biscuit instead I got round two so um, and then after that we finished it off with origins at round nine so the winner the winner is revelations at round 10 um, which is kind of funny because like I said earlier it is also my highest round uh, no not that ooh don't want to go there uh, highest round uh, out of everything which is round 50 so and then my spawn is this one Oshima round 4 very nice uh, but yeah so that's the first room challenge. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this first room challenge on every map. Some went how I expected. Revelations, uh, Kino, like some of those round 8, 9, 10, around there. That's kind of how I expected. And then others were just disappointments. Um, even Origins got to round 9. Super disappointed that I didn't get to fight the Panzer in the first room challenge. But anyway, guys, I hope you did enjoy this video. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. See ya!